If you watched any football games over the weekend or last night, I did both, then you couldn't avoid the barrage of fantasy sports commercials like this from DraftKings and FanDuel. Now, New Jersey Democrat Frank Pallone is calling for uh, a congressional hearing into the relationship between the NFL and these fantasy leagues. Hmm. Fox Sports Peter Schrager joins us now. All right, I don't like it when politicians get involved, but um, this fantasy football uh, phenomenon yeah. has just exploded. I mean, I've, I used to do it every year, and I got out of it because it was, became all so consuming. But why, why are we seeing this massive explosion? It's a new niche called daily fantasy sports, where it's legal in every state except five, and you can bet day to day as much as you'd like on yeah. these sites, and their marketing budgets are huge. I mean, it's incredible. You would forget there was football games on. You'd think it was yeah. just fantasy football commercials, and there might be some football spliced in it. You go on the subways, they're everywhere. I was walking by a halal cart on 53rd Street, <laughs> and there's DraftKings on it. These guys are flush with money. It's a new market. They're quite persuasive, you know. Oh, just go week by millions week. Millions of dollars. You, you wake can up win. the next morning and you got all this money in your account. They've got real money behind them now. Just this past summer, FanDuel and DraftKings, which is the new Yankees and Red Sox in sports, right. uh, made five hundred and thirty-five million dollars of new investments. Major companies, oh Fox gosh. Sports, CBS, Yahoo, they're all involved. Everyone's all in on this thing, and the leagues and the commissioners of the leagues are okay with it. Does it change the way you cover? Football. No, because, it's a great question, though. Because it's all about the individual now, not the team. It's so interesting. Great question, Ashley, because mm. the way I cover the games, no, it doesn't, say, it doesn't change. However, I'm on Twitter. All the questions the day of the game. I was in Buffalo yeah. this week. Is he going to play? Is he going to play? Is yeah. he injured? Are we going to get a lot from this player, yeah. that player? You speak with the coaches. What do you know? And the players, they begin to get it now. So a player, uh, Jeremy Macklin from the Chiefs, he said on his Twitter account, stop asking me questions about fantasy football. I'm so focusing on the game. It could have an impact on their performance. It could. But it's a distraction. It's a distraction. But no player is ever going to not play as well because of Facebook. Right, right, and that's right, the right, argument right. on why it's legal and why betting on games might not be legal because you can't fix the outcome of this. No. You're only rewarded for positive things. So, it's But here we are. We have someone, some congressman that well, says, well, we need to get involved, which to me speaks to how big this thing's got and there could be some regulation coming. I don't know. How often do we hear Frank Pallone's name out there? He's a congressman <laughs> from Monmouth <laughs> County, New Jersey. He's making a name for himself. He's trying to get out there. His point is that it, look, gambling's not legal in New Jersey. You can't, right. you can't bet on sports, so why are we not getting some money out of this? Why are these guys out there and making money in New Jersey and not us? And, you know, just now there was some legal stuff that came out saying sports gambling. You have a fantasy no team? I do, but I don't put money on it. All right. That's what you say. Yeah. Pete Schrager, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Donald Trump.